So hello and welcome to another game and I'm playing against Pontus this time and I'm using the same army as I used last game. This is just to show this is just to show you what happens against chariots really. Um, and here he's not taken much of a skirmishing component at all. Only these two units. He's taken I'd say a stronger than mine cav component only because of these two chariots if you say count them as uh, cav. It's quite a strange army. Not really sure what the per. I think it's have the pikes out front. This is, to, I guess, to try and force them onto the front of the pikes. Then have the spearmen on the side to support the cav, and these uh, hopl oh, hoplites behind to stop any rear charges. Because these pikes are very strong in the front. Chariots. I hate. I hate chariots so much. Uh, like elephants, they're such a sort of weird unit because they're really flimsy in a lot of circum circumstances hit a unit of pikes they die but if they hit light infantry or even like bloody roman legionnaires um it's just not a good it's just not good basically here i've set up slightly differently so this time i've got my two little skirmish balls almost on the far flank uh with my main part of course in the center i've got I decided to put the Thessalian Cav in between this time. Not entirely sure why, I just thought it might, well it's going to be better protected against the enemy skirmish component. And here, I got quite lucky. Uh, I got up here and I saw this unit and I was like, holy shit, I can take them. <laughs> so I ran downhill into the rear of this and activated Trample. Which was really lucky. <laughs> and so I killed this uh, mercenary Celtic Light Horse almost immediately. So I've set up on this hill because I hate this map because there's this ridge line in the middle and you both run up to the ridge line and then one of you basically dies and there's not really any skill to it. So here I'm pulling my Sarissa Cav around the back. I sent this unit over for the same reason he did I suppose which was to try and spot. Uh, and then I, of course I pull these guys out because they're going to be a lot quicker than his uh, Citizen Cav. Who are, what Citizen Cav? They're just heavy. They're not like very heavy or like super heavy. The Salians are... Very heavy, and then companion are also very heavy. Oh, okay. So here, I'm going to move my skirmishing component up because I see this lot of cav, and I'm thinking, I don't know, I could probably take them, which is, I guess, quite silly. Should have probably moved these guys over to support. Here, cav around the back just to try and spot his army so I can see where everything is. Where is are oh, his? Oh, here are his chariots. These, I hate. I hate chariots. They're so annoying. They're just hor horrible, horrible units. Loads of health, loads of armor. Just no fun for anyone. He's got Sears and Cav to stop me basically charging him. Although, I can't really charge any of this anywhere, can I? <laughs> Let's be honest. This is a really, like, charge-stopping army. Like, what? <laughs> These are all anti-cav units. So this army is going to be challenging for me to try and beat because of its heavy anti-cav element. Uh, chariots also tend to do very well against cav, um, but he doesn't have much skirmish. So I'm going to try and bring these guys around here to attack from this side. Oh, I really don't... How do I get my little paintbrush things here? Does anyone know? Can anyone please tell me? So this cav just spotting here. I moved the, these guys up onto the ridge line because I'm hoping if he does charge me with Cav, the sort of uphill charge will be better for me. Here I see these gu these two units of Cav quite far out on the flank. So I'm going to try and push these two Cav in. Here I'm just running around the rear. I'm trying to scare him a bit with these Sarissa Cav. So I decided to move them out once he tries to charge me. And I'm just like, no, not going to take this engagement. Although he just catch me up. I thought he... Yeah, look. That's not right. He's a light cav against heavy cav. So something something went wrong there. I'm not entirely sure what. So here, this is what's really interesting. These are three deep, yeah? And they're medium, so they shouldn't be able to kill these. Also, the first shot's going to the citizen cav. But then I shoot his side chariots. I managed to take one unit out before they charge. Then they charge, hit my guys, plow through. But I do manage to kill another two units. So I'm not entirely sure how representative this is but the thing they flee then straight away i don't know why they lost three guys and then they just fled straight out and i get my uh cavern here 
So chariots do usually run in and then run through, which means I would have been able to take them out of my Peltis, although I have lost like pretty much all of my spears here. But chariots are quite an expensive unit. Here, here I try and charge his chariots down um, in hopes that they would die, but they don't. Like These chariots like trample the Sarissa cab as they're chasing them. You're just going to have to take my word for it because I think there's action elsewhere. Here I realise this is really fragile now. Only 30 spears. This is citizen cab of 60 could charge in and ruin its day. So I move my uh, general over to try and ward that off. Here, look, I'm losing cab, here. and I haven't killed a single one of these guys. But here, I lose. Oh wait, not quite. I do continuously lose cab against these guys. Uh, so in the end, I decide to try and chase down down his citizen cab. <coughs> Sorry about that. So here I'm trying to move in uh, to get some uh, pelter shots off against his cab, which I do. Then exactly the same thing happens again. Free deep. I don't actually even get any shots in this time against these guys. Oh, that's why this, this one went a lot worse for me. But here, look, just completely ruins this unit. But I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to charge all my cab in just to try and stop these chariots because I hate them. I hate them so much. Here, I lost, it looks like. Oh, he Celtic Light Horse Rally, damn. Where's my Sarissa? Oh, they must have cleaned up my Sarissa cabs. So here I'm trying to run all of my spears and my cav in and then try and pull my uh, Peltis out. Although my Peltis are dead now, anyway. So I've managed to kill a lot of his chariots. I think you can, because the chariots are stopped by my men, uh, you can actually charge chariots, chariots with cav and do quite a bit of damage. Here I managed to route all of them, which is really lucky. So they all run off. Is there any cha any chariots left? Yeah, there are two chariots left. But look how many cat I took a lot of. There's a lot of dead guys here, basically. Here, 39 of these, 29 of these. The other unit's dead. My cab is still in pretty good shape, though. Salian cab obviously going to be better than the Sarissa cab. Slowly moving my main component in. So this has been a very skirmishy battle, as in little battles here and there. Ugh. His chariots rallied. His chariots course his chariots rally just just a painful experience for everyone here these two you i forgot about these units of cab and i was like oh this is not going well for me this i might actually lose this remember about these and i was like that's probably really loud i might i was like damn i might do all right here they're trying to charge uphill so they're not going to do well uh not too sure what i was thinking but i sort of just charged my general out i was i think i was thinking i can stop the chariots and the cab with my general and then kill the chariots with uh, the javelins, which they actually do do. They just ruin this unit of side chariots. And then here, I bring my other cab in. Oh yeah, I was like, my general can stop them for a bit, and then I can get my other cab in, pull my general out, if he's not doing too well. Slowly surrounding again, as always. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Here, trying to force an engage. Well, not force an engagement, but force a little, uh, little skirmish. Get some shots off here. Just obviously going to start shooting him. Moving my cab around the back. This little skirmish component. He did do quite a good job of taking out my skirmish components. I'm not entirely sure if it was cost effective to chariots. I'm not sure how much they cost. Might be a good idea to look at that afterwards. Because he killed what? Actually, he probably was cost effective. Which is slightly sickening. That he was cost effective. That's... First unit, yeah, yeah, they was almost definitely cost effective, which is bad. Like half of it, like 300 money worth of a, uh, no, actually maybe not 300 money worth of a, like 550 unit. Then about half of about a 500 unit, so about 800. No, maybe not quite cost effective then. Here I see that this unit is slightly exposed, so I get my uh, general and a unit of Thessalians in here. Got his hoplites in, which is going to start going badly for me. So I charge my spears into the back of him. What's left of them anyway? Here I'm going to try and pull my general out and the cav out. Now that I've won that fight, here he's trying to chase me down. And these Pontic Peltists are actually going to be quite hard to kill with my um, slingers because they've got pretty good armor. Well, they've got they've got pretty good armor. They're pretty alright. And also they've got very high missile damage. So they will like hurt these units. So here I'm trying to get Cav round and try and take uh, his skirmishers out with Cav so I can use most of my ammo up on his more expensive units like these bronze shield pikemen. Luckily he is expending 
ammo on these javelin men who are worth like nothing. Here I'm just sort of taking engagements where I can find them, trying to get some kills from my peltists on this bronze shield pikeman. So expensive bronze shield pikeman, not worth it because they've got um, that encourage ability. Here wasting ammo on javelin men. Here shooting into his lines. <laughs> He's got eastern spearmen who are cheap. Pontic pelt is pretty cheap, and these bronze shield pikemen are very expensive. Here just pulling away because I don't have to engage him if I don't want to, which is really a really nice thing about this army. Here, Peltis shooting his front shield pikeman as always. Cav round the back, threatening his back, so he can't just form up a front and like push forward slowly towards me. He has to worry about my Cav behind him. And here, I thought I had an opening. I think I might actually have an opening. Yeah, I do. Um, so I charge my Cav. Oh no, I don't. I thought I had an opening, and then I decided against it. Got my Cav out of there. Got these Cav out of here as well. Just running these units away. They're not really worth it at this point because there aren't many of them left. Getting a few good shots off onto this very depleted unit for Russia Pikeman. And I think I get quite lucky here and I get a charge in before he gets his uh his guys down. Yeah, I do. Oh, he's done another command. He's going to try and reform over here by the looks of things. He's got his Bronchial Pikes down. Here, cleaning up a unit, cleaning up some Hoplites. This unit is very depleted, so I thought I'd just chase down this unit of Hoplites, which has very few men left. So he's trying to defend his back with these bronze shields. The problem is, these can't run very quick. And here his general's out of position, so I hit it with a load of cav. Which is very lucky for me. He was trying to chase these uh, peltists down. Killed his general, going to pull out now. So yeah, he has to try and defend his rear. But he's trying to chase me. At the same time, defend his year with pikes. Which only really work when stationary. So it's not going to go well for him here. I'm targeting his bronchial pikemen because they're the most expensive unit. And I'm trying to catch his Pontic Peltis out of position. That's that's my general game plan. Also, his bronchial pikemen will not do very well against um, missiles. Whilst a unit like Hopolites will, and Eastern Spearmen aren't worth anything, so they're not really very good to shoot at. Reforming my cab all the time, just threatening his rear. Which <laughs> sounds really bad here just constantly raining death down as much as I can and here what I've been waiting for maybe not actually still he he does a very good job in this game of um, defending his peltists here he starts trying to form a new box the problem with this is that I have the like massive cav advantage so he this new box isn't really gonna do very like well he's just gonna start losing men basically and here he is losing men. And every time he does this and tries to reform, he'll take huge casualties. Because he won't get the shield bonus basically as soon as my guys aren't shooting into the front. Starting to rout some of his units, actually killing his peltis. I think I start to try and shoot them down. These two units are pretty much still intact, which is very nice. Here, just pulling back again, because no, I do not want to engage you. Here, peltis shooting these guys. I think these guys might be out of ammo. And trying to chase my guys down with bronze shield pikemen. <laughs> Which two units of almost complete bronze shield pikemen. Here, I take a risk. I think he's probably not paying attention. So I run straight through that first unit. And then straight into the second unit. And I think at this point he realises, no, this is pretty much over for me. He's still got quite a scary force here. But i still got quite a few missiles. I've still got a lot of cav. Um, yeah, I've still got quite a few missiles lock cavern I've got two, these two units who are pretty much not depleted so I could these aren't pikes left basically so kill any remaining pikes with missiles then charge these two units into front of his hoplites uh, and then hit them with cavern in the back and I wouldn't be able to win okay let's end this replay have a look at what was and wasn't cost effective so damn look at the kills on those they all do always so well his cav was ineffective <laughs> pikes ineffective not very effective most of his units. This is a very. This sort of army always gives weird sort of kills. Because here, these were probably quite effective actually. Here, my spears, pretty much no kills. That unit of javelins, pretty much no kills. Javelins, are actually, not many kills this time. Although they were kills on Scythe Chariots, which of course there's only nine men in the unit. Here, Cav didn't do great, but he's still alive, so that's alright. And really quickly, let's have a little look at. The chariots of Pontus. 
Okay, yeah, I think they might have increased this cost. So yeah, they weren't quite, they weren't cost effective at all. Lucky me. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.